Namaste friends, welcome to Shima Flow Yoga. I'm Jodi and today is day 12 of our 28 day yoga series, New Year, New You. Today's focus is on our core. So we'll be focusing on the front side and back body. If you wanna listen along to music, Spotify playlist NYNY one through seven will go along perfectly with this practice. So grab your yoga mat and let's get started. So today we are going to start on our back. As you come on back, just extend the legs out or really come into any position that your body naturally falls into here. And we'll take a, just the first few minutes as always to check in. This is a, just a great way to become present, to be completely in the moment with your breath. And allow yourself to feel. Notice it, noticing everything about you physically and emotionally and mentally. Start to bring your attention to the space right behind your navel. And in this space resides our third chakra. And that chakra color is yellow. So bright like the sun. Imagine a fire, it's a fire element, fire in your belly. Go ahead and bend the knees and bring them into the chest. And then as you bring your knees into the chest, just press your navel down towards your spine. You're gonna feel your abdominals really start to engage here, arms to your sides. And then you're gonna keep your knees bent, but bring your feet so they're just hovering about an inch from the mat, okay? And from here, keep pressing your navel down and start to straighten out your legs, almost like you're gliding your toes, just hovering above the mat. Okay, and then we're gonna inhale and we're gonna lift the legs up. So right here you have an option. You can either do a reverse sit up where you're gonna just lift your hips up and you can even use your, your hands to kind of press in to help you get this low lift here. Or if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you're gonna bring your feet all the way behind your head into plow pose, right? Lifting the hips, feet come behind and then slowly, slowly roll back down. Keep pressing that navel down and then repeat. Bend the knees, hover the toes. Keep pressing the navel down, extend the legs out. Just hovering, inhale, lift up through your legs, either reverse sit up here, okay, or swing the legs behind and then lower back down. And we're gonna repeat again. So lowering, toes, hover, extend. Inhale, either reverse sit up or lift the hips, bringing the feet behind into plow, slowly exhaling, lowering down. So let's start to coordinate the breath. So we're gonna inhale, extend and lift, exhale, Start to lower, 
all the way down. We call this water wheel. So imagine almost like this like large wheel, moving water. Good, and coming back down. So continue through and try not to rush through this. Go nice and slow. The more, the slower we go, right, the more control we have. Already feeling this. Up, exhale. Good. Inhale. Extend out and up. And slowly lower, exhale. Inhale, extend. Let's do three more rounds. Exhale, lift, lower down. Good, extend out. Uh, do you feel that fire in your belly? Because I sure do. Lower down. Okay, I think we have one more. Extend out, lift up, and then slowly lower down. Good. Bring your knees to your chest. So we're gonna rock and roll forward and back. And what's really nice is we've already feel that strength in the abs. So we're going to use that core strength to move back and up. So roll up back and then rock up. Do this a couple times. Inhale back. Exhale all the way up. Come to a seated position. Okay. So coming into a cross-legged position. I'm going to bring your hands outside of your knees. Keep pulling that belly in and up, right? Engaging Uddiyana Bandha and inhale into a seated cow pose. You're just going to lift your chest, roll the shoulders back, and it's going to kind of stretch out just a little bit through the front body. And then exhale round, navel to spine, again engaging through the abdominals. Inhale, lift up, and exhale. Slowly come back. Now keep moving like this, moving with the breath. Just Begin to take it at your own pace. Find the pace. Follow the rhythm of your breath. So as I mentioned, this core center connects directly with our third chakra. And what I think is pretty cool about that is that it does take a lot of uh, strength. Like abs can be pretty challenging. So this chakra, actually, when it's balanced, enables us to adapt right, to any situation, to find that inner strength determination and drive, which is exactly what we need to get through a strong core practice. So naturally, connecting with these movements. Let's do one more inhale. Exhale, cat pose, rounding, and then come back to a neutral spine, sit up tall. Let's just take a deep breath in and stretch up, interlace the fingers, press through the palms, and lengthen up. And if it feels good to kind of Move side to side. You can go ahead and do that. As always, you want to move your body in a way that feels good to you. Draw the arms back a little bit more. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Okay, so let's come into child's pose. We're going to go ahead and sit all the way back onto your heels. Fold over your thighs and extend your legs out in front of you. And pause here for a moment. So we reach out and stretch your arms, spread your fingers, bring your hands a little wider than shoulder width distance. We're moving right into downward facing dog, okay? So come up on your knees and tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, press away. And just take a few moments to settle into this pose. Whatever that means for you, this practice. Melting the heart, relaxing your head completely. It's heavy. Gaze to your navel or between your knees. And then intensifying that stretch if you need to by lifting the tailbone, the sitting bones, and pressing the heels down. Let's inhale. Come up on the toes. Bend your knees. Look up to your hands. Exhale. Walk, step, or jump your feet all the way forward between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, press away, flat back, gaze slightly forward, and then exhale, forward fold. Bring the belly towards the thighs, drop the head, look at your knees, and inhale, stand all the way up. Reach your palms up, touch your palms, bring your hands to your heart center. Okay, so we're gonna move through a variation of Sun Salutation B. So let's inhale into chair pose. We're gonna sit back right in your chair, reach your arms up, take your gaze up, 
And then exhale, we're coming to a prayer twist. So bring your hands to your heart. We're going to twist over to the right. Hook your left elbow on the outside of that right thigh. Press into it. Turn your gaze up over your right shoulder. Inhale, reach back up. And then exhale, let's twist over to the left. Hook your right elbow, press in, take the gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Straighten your legs, fold forward, relax your head. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, plant your hands outside the feet step or jump into your high push-up position plank. As always, knees up or down. Low push-up, bend the elbows and lower. Flip the feet, inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, starting low in cobra, elbows bent or higher to upward facing dog. Always have those options. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, draw your knee in towards your nose. So you're gonna shift in that plank position. Shoulders come over the wrist, pull the knee in, squeeze in through your abs. And then inhale, lift back up again. Exhale, this time take your knee into your left triceps. So you're gonna cross it under, and then you're gonna kick your leg through, okay? We're gonna inhale and lift the left arm up. If you want more, you're gonna keep that leg lifted, right? Really working through those right obliques. Exhale, release, step back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Same thing on the left leg, take it up, inhale. Exhale, draw the knee in, squeezing. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, cross under, kick the leg through. Again, you can plant the foot down or keep that leg hovering, that foot hovering, and inhale, float your right arm up. Exhale, release, step back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Feeling that from yesterday's practice, right? Upper body, feeling that in my shoulders. Exhale, down dog. All right, let's hold and breathe. And inhale, up on the toes, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, walk, step, or jump. Right to your hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair, bend your knees, sit back, reach your arms up. We're gonna move right into that twist. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Starting that rhythm, right? That flow with the breath, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hand, step or jump back to plank and lower all the way down. Inhale, flip the feet, lift the heart, stay low in cobra or higher in upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, pull it in. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, cross the knee to your left tricep, kick the leg through. Inhale, left arm lifts up. Exhale, release, step back to plank, lower down, or you can always just lift the hips to downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, pull the navel to spine, nice and strong. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee draws in, kick it out. Inhale, right arm reaches up. And exhale, release, step back. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Hold and breathe. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sore. <laughs> All right, melting your heart. All right, inhale up on the toes, bend the knees. Exhale, step or jump. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. We got one more round. Inhale to chair, bend the knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Inhale, reach up. Prayer twist to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So it's Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump back. High to low push up, Chaturanga Dandasana. 
inhale cobra bhujangasana or upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale right leg up exhale knee to nose inhale take it up exhale cross it under kick through maybe like we'll challenge ourselves this time leave that foot hovering inhale up good exhale Woo. release and up dog to down dog one more time left leg take it up exhale knee draws in inhale up exhale cross over kick through maybe balance here lift that leg up a little higher and exhale come back to plank find your way back to downward facing dog Good. Take a few breaths if you need to. Child's pose right here. Inhale, come up on your toes. Bend your knees. Exhale, walk, step, or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale to chair, sit back. Reach the arms up. Exhale, stand up. Bring your hands to your heart. Good. Let's take a couple breaths here. In mountain pose, Tadasana. Hands to your heart or to your sides. All right, inhale. Let's reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Now exhale. Let's plant the hands, step the left leg back. We're going to come into a crescent lunge. So the back heels lifted up. Inhale, float your arms up. Okay, and then pull your belly in nice and strong. Okay, and we're going to exhale to lightning bolt. So you're going to hinge forward right at the hip. Keep the arms up by your ears extended. You might want to shift the weight forward a little bit in that foot. Now, from here, you want to make sure you're not resting your belly on your thigh. So lift up, make sure you've got some space here and hold. And breathe. Keep those arms up. One more breath in. Exhale, release the hands onto your mat. Now spin your back foot flat on the floor. Keep your right knee bent, and we're going to come to reverse warrior. So we're going to stand all the way up. Open your belly and your heart to the left. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. So let's notice here, we're stretching through the right side, right? The obliques, pull the belly in. And I want you to think as we start to move through these two poses that we're coming into, squeezing through that right side. So we're going to exhale to side angle. Bring the right hand down. And we're not going to rest it on the forearm or even rest it on the mat. We're going to free uh, float this hand, right? So right hand comes down and just reach over. And then inhale, sweep back up. Good. And exhale, come back down. Squeeze through the right side. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower down. Left arm comes all the way over the ear. Inhale, up. And exhale. I'm going to do two more. Inhale, squeeze, lift it up. And exhale, lower. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now come back up. Let's come to warrior two. Okay, we're going to come to a balanced position on that right foot. Okay, so we're going to slowly start to shift that weight into your front foot. Okay, and then turn to the front of the mat, lift your knee up. Okay, and then lift your knee up nice and high. We're going to come into eagle. So you're going to cross your left thigh over your right thigh. And as you do so, bend your right knee. Hug and squeeze those thighs together, okay? So from here, you're either going to tuck your toe around that lower leg, leave it open, or you can kickstand. If, balance, if the balance is difficult for you, use your foot as a little kickstand to the outside of that right foot, okay? Arms come out to a T. We're going to cross the left arm under the right. And then we're going to bend your elbows as you wrap your forearms and touch your palms. And from here too, okay, if this is too much, just bring your hands right together here. You can hug onto your shoulders, okay? And come back. Okay, so bend the knee, 
sitting back. Find your focal point. A little challenging because we've got our arms right in front of our face, but do the best you can. Now, pull the belly in, lift your elbows up on your inhale, and then exhale, draw the elbows to the knee. Squeeze. Now keep that belly pulled in. Keep those abs strong as you lift up, inhale, and exhale, bring it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, squeeze. I know, intense, right? Two more, inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more, inhale. And exhale. Good job, okay, inhale. Let's release, come back to standing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump. And let's come to plank pose. Okay, so plank pose, wrists under the shoulders, spread your fingers. Now push away through the hands and start to round out, dome out through that upper back. Pull the belly in, lift the knees up and hold. Good, so it's like you're bringing your lower ribs towards your upper ribs, squeezing through, getting really strong through the abdominals. One more breath in. Now take your right hand right into the center of the mat. Bring your feet together. Roll to the outside of the right foot. Stack the left foot on top. If you can, side plank. We're going to reach up. Lift your hips up. Squeeze through the belly. Okay? So we know our variations, right? You can drop that right knee. Still really super strong here. Okay? Or lift the top leg up. Good. Hold. Find your focal point, drishti, your gaze. Of course, first and foremost, you want to make sure that your neck is comfortable, but if you can take it up to your hands, that'll give you a little bit more of a challenge in this balance. One more breath, and then exhale, come back to plank, and lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, lift the left leg up. Working through the other side now. Exhale, step forward, crescent lunge, back heels lifted. Inhale, reach your arms up. Okay, keep that belly strong, pulling in and up. Okay, lightning bolt, hinge forward at the hip. Keep the arms up by the ears, gaze forward. And we find peace and calm through our breath. Always drop your back knee here. Good. One more breath in, exhale, release the hands. Spin your back foot flat on the mat. Keep your left knee bent and rise up, reverse warrior. Left arm reaches up. Again, so we remember right here through the side, left side, right? We're gonna squeeze, we're gonna focus on working. Deep breath in and then exhale, side angle. This is free floating arms, right? Left hand comes down, sweep that right arm over. Now squeeze to lift up, reverse warrior. Squeezing through the right side. Exhale, side angle. Good, inhale, reach up. And exhale, and if you wanna kinda of make a circular motion, you can bring that hand in the front of your body. Inhale, squeeze, lift up. And exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale, let's do two more. Inhale, squeeze and lift up. And exhale. And then last one, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and come to warrior two, arms to a T. Stabilize to your front foot. We're coming to that balance pose, eagle pose. So we're gonna shift the weight into that front foot. Lift the right knee up nice and high. Cross the right thigh over the left. Bend your left knee so you're sitting back. You can tuck the toe. Use it as a kickstand. Most importantly, squeeze those thighs. Arms out. Right arm comes under the left. Wrap the forearms, palms together. Or just bring the palms to touch. Inhale up, pull your belly in. Exhale, draw the elbow towards your thigh. Inhale, keep pulling the belly in even as you lift. And exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift up. 
All right, exhale. This is tough balance here, you guys. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale. Oof, release, stretch up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, plant your hands, step or jump to plank. Again, let's pause right here. So you press through the hands, straighten the arms, press away, round through the back, pull the belly in, lift the knees, you're squeezing those thighs, hug your triceps together, and hold. Slow, deep breaths. Good, one more deep breath in. And let's take that left hand to center, side plank. Walk the feet together, roll to the outside of the left foot, and then open up, reach that right arm up. Again, here you guys lift the hips up, squeeze to that left side and lift up right here. Flex your feet, keep them nice and strong. Drop the bottom knee for a variation. Lift the top leg. Find what works for you. Good, keep lifting those hips. One more inhale. Exhale, release to plank. Either just lift your hips to down dog or Take one more vinyasa, lowering down. Inhale, up dog, and exhale to down dog. Okay, let's lower down. We're gonna come all the way down. So drop your knees down, sit back on your heels. Let's take child's pose just for a couple breaths. Go ahead and come on up. Okay. So we're going to come on to our backs now. So you come on back. Draw your knees into your chest. And we're going to revisit the eagle pose on our backs. Okay. We're going to come into a abdominal um, move called twisted root. So go ahead and place your feet on the mat with your knees bent. We're gonna cross the right thigh over the left, okay? Lift the feet up, and then from here, if you want, you can tuck the toe under. If not, just keep the feet to the side, but squeeze through your thighs. Hands come behind the head. Navel down towards the floor. So on the inhale, you're gonna curl your upper body up, and then from here, you're gonna keep the upper body curled up. You're not gonna move it at all. The only movement comes from your hips. We're gonna exhale, lift the hips up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale, squeeze, keep that navel pressed down, exhale, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, slowly release. Release the legs, uncross, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Left thigh crosses over the right, Tuck the toe under, lift the legs up. Inhale, curl up, navel to spine. Exhale, lift the hips, good, lower down. And two, and lower, three, lower, four, five, keep the upper body curled up. Six, just two more here, seven, and eight, good, and release, lower down and uncross. Let's bring the knees into the chest. And bring the hands behind the head again. So I want you to think of 
frog pose now. So we're gonna open up the knees and you're gonna bring the feet out just like a frog, just like we're in frog pose, but we're on our backs. Navel to spine, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, curl right to center. Keep that navel to the spine, inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale up, good, inhale, release. I think we have four more. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, two more, you guys. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale, last one, squeeze, hold, reach your hands through and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release, awesome job. Bring those knees to your chest. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. All right, knees are bent. Bring your ankles underneath your knees and your arms to your sides. So come into bridge pose. So we're gonna just kind of open up through the belly now. So inhale, lift the hips up. Okay, gotta make sure the ankles are under the knees so we've got some support there. As we lift up through the hips, we're also pressing through the feet. So strong through your feet, relax your toes, press through all four corners, Pada Bandha, and then walk your shoulders in a little bit. If you can, interlace those fingers, press a little bit higher, lifting up. Okay, continue to breathe, press through, lift up. Good, one more breath in, slowly lower down. Okay, and just pause for a moment, bring the soles of the feet together. Open the knees out to the side. I'm gonna do that one more time. Knees together, bridge pose, arms to your sides, right? Lift up through the hips, walk the shoulders in, interlace your fingers. Now, if you wanna go deeper, if you want a deeper stretch for the body, you can come into wheel pose. So you're gonna bring your hands underneath the shoulders, fingers point towards your toes or slightly outward. Elbows point up towards the sky. You're gonna start by lifting your hips up just like you come into bridge and then press into your hands and bring the crown of the head on the mat and then reassess, check out the elbows, make sure they're up. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, press all the way up. And slowly lower down. Good. Drawing back in. So whether you're in bridge or wheel, lower the hips down. Again, bring your soles of the feet together. Hug the knees to the chest. Good, and then lower. Bring your arms out. Bend your knees and bring your knees over to the right as you turn your gaze to the left. We come into a nice gentle twist. And then to center and over to the left. Gaze to the right. and then back to center. All right, hug the knees in one more time. Draw your forehead up towards your knees. 
Deep breath in. Release. Exhale. Bring your feet to the corners of the mat. And let's move into our final rest, Shavasana. And let's start to bring some movement back in the body. And bend your knees. Roll over to your side. And slowly rise up into your seated position, Sukhasana. When we bring our hands to our heart center, Anjali Mudra, palms to touch, thumbs into the chest, taking this opportunity always to have total acceptance of where we are each and every day. So not only in your yoga practice, but out in the real world where you live your life daily, where it really counts being truly accepting of who you are, where you're at, what you're feeling. That's practicing self-love. Let's take a deep breath in and stretch the arms up above the head. Exhale, palms touch, draw them back to the heart. Namaste. Thanks for tuning in today. Great job. Keep up the good work and the hard work. Stay tuned tomorrow where we will be focusing on detoxifying and cleansing the body through twists and other poses. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you like this video, press the like button and share it with others. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Namaste.